Hello, and welcome to part two of the new tutor training videos as part of Learning Works' English Language and Literacy program. Part two is how we learn. In this lesson, you will understand different learning styles, as well as discover the role of multiple intelligences in learners, and think about how that may apply to your own style of learning. Let's take a moment to briefly cover the concept of different learning styles. A learning style refers to the fact that every learner absorbs, processes, and comprehends and retains information differently. The learning style of an individual refers to the preferred way that they take in information. It doesn't mean that the other forms of learning are inaccessible to them or can never be used, but as individuals, we tend to skew toward a specific way of learning. Something works well for us, often above the other methods. So examples that you may have heard of already are visual learning, auditory learning, or kinesthetic learning. We studied the idea of learning styles and the fact that everyone's learning style is different uh, because it comes into play quite often in the role of an English language tutor or teacher for English language learners. Finding out how we take in information very much affects how we learn, but also how we teach. If we don't take the time to understand what our preferential ways of learning are, we may not be fully examining how effective our communication is as a tutor or the kinds of ideas we bring into the tutoring role. If you've not taken a quiz about your own learning style before, please look into the quiz on the following slide. Click this link to take a short quiz to find out what your learning style is. At the end of the quiz, you'll notice lists of methods for retaining information that appeal best to visual, auditory, or kinesthetic learners. It's a great way to start thinking about some of the ways that information is retained and how this might be adapted during English language tutoring or teaching. The next part of the presentation will introduce and explore the theory of multiple intelligences. Dr. Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligences, developed in 1983, is still a sound framework and a useful tool for educators today. The theory encourages us to consider all the ways there are to take in and retain information and helps teachers and tutors consider what kinds of activities, tasks, and methods could be introduced to learners to reach them and help them learn. Take a look at the nine different intelligences listed here. Which ones do you identify with? Who do you know in your life who might identify with another form of intelligence or who excels in these areas? Listed here, along with the nine different kinds of intelligence, as per the theory of multiple intelligences, are the skills and strengths of each kind of person with this intelligence. Take a moment to look around the circle, find your strengths and or challenges, and look at the tasks that are involved with these forms of intelligence. What do people with these intelligences excel at? For more about Dr. Gardner's theory, click the link below. Next, in part three, we'll cover language acquisition. We'll learn about the stages of language acquisition, get a brief overview of some of the components of the English language, particularly those that are often very challenging for new English language learners, and we'll talk about troubleshooting some student speaking and writing challenges that you might encounter as a tutor.